Hey guys, Oshman Evil here. Just taking a quick look at Dev Stream number 73, which just came out a little bit earlier on Friday. So, first off, the update is going to be named Everheart. This is the E update, which is pretty cool. I like the I like the name. I like the it's you know based around this American guy that won all these different medals and stuff. Anyways, moving Did on. A, and had a crazy story to tell. Yeah, the story the story for pretty much every update is, is always something that is just amazing to read and learn about. So just some intro. They they've been listening to a lot of the community and they are changing making constantly making new changes to the squad. Which is something that's really nice. They're really into their community, which is, you know, everybody wants them to make new changes to their squad and whatnot. And there's still quite a few problems with the squad that I'll probably start posting pretty soon, hoping that they can make these changes. But either way, they're slowly just making everything better and easier. So uh, those are just... Lots of new squad changes incoming. Now, the main focus of this patch is the trucks. So this is, this well, just, as far as what you know so far. Well, yeah, so far, what they've shown anyways, the trucks. And now, Evil actually made a video about going over different light vehicles. They three months ago so each faction's gonna get their own yeah I'm, I made the you know the demands video talking about the three trucks and I asked Osh I'm like you know hey yo bro should it be like you know kind of like a, a weak ass kind of like half track like where you can spawn on it and with like two crates or should it just be like you know something simple like where they just replace kind of like all the trucks in the game with faction specific so we kind of went with you know replacing the vehicles with you know faction specific trucks because like it, it just felt like it just feels like you know these these trucks are, are too weak they're not they're not really going to be able to serve that much of a purpose over the current existing uh, APCs which you know actually have armor like Who's to say that these trucks won't get shot at, uh, one shotted by a PDRD? You know, like the current regular shitty trucks in the game. Yeah, for just, sure. Yeah, just think about it. A PDRD or a 75 millimeter tank shell, or something's ripped through the truck. So. Unlike yeah, unlike the APC, where you know you can actually take a shot from a medium tank. So. You can take a shot, there's even a chance for deflection, for instance. And so I guess what's I guess what's cool is that these new trucks it's gonna be Yeah, they fall under the APC, but you're gonna unlock them at chauffeur rank two. And yeah, each of them are gonna be able to hold two crates and say carry nine or ten people. And the good thing is that it's going to be very hard to snipe, say, infantry out of the truck because you, you can't see the little, you can't see the guy hanging off the APC because he's going to be inside, you know, fairly sheltered. Yeah, true. So it's going to be a lot harder to, say, snipe or even, let's say, spawn camp since you're going to be able to spawn off of these trucks too. Oh, so, well, if I wanted a more protected, you know... <laughs> APC, I would have asked for, like, you know, the better German version APC, where it's, like, kind of like the American one, where every, there's lots of space inside. I, I don't remember the name. SDK something or other. Yeah, there are better... 250 something. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, for sure. There are better vehicles out there, but from what, like, sort of what Evil wanted in the game, and just, just these are just, yeah... <laughs> these trucks they're pretty much exactly what we wanted and yeah exactly like right down to the actual names like these are the exact same three trucks that i was talking about so 
I mean, basically, you got you got to look at it as like. It's an APC, you're going to be able to carry more players, and it's chauffeur rank 2 to unlock it. So you're going to be able to get these trucks right away, instantly, and you're and then you're going to be... People are going to be spawning on them, and you're going to be able to rank up your chauffeur a lot faster than, say, waiting for somebody to jump in your Jeep. Yeah, I feel like you there's going to be a lot of nubs again, like, driving around these shitty trucks. Yeah, it's Like when the patch out, first comes out. Them, whatever. But... It should be easier to rank up chauffeur, even if all these other people are gonna be around, like, you know. So, it's just a small kind of step in the right direction to help new players out to rank up some of these, say, harder to earn ribbons that require multiple people yeah. in a vehicle. So, yeah, then you can just rank your chauffeur up and you'll be able to get. Yeah, you know, move on to the bigger APC, or it, it's like kind of like a think of it as like a practice APC, and then you'll be practicing with this paper thing, and then once you get your actual APC, that's going to be more armored, and you should just you know be able to have more. Like if you can survive in the paper APC, you're going to be a pretty good driver once you get the better, more armored APC. Yeah. So I. I but also, like it's that. more like a different play style. Like, with a truck, it's, like, something you want to kind of just, like, drive somewhere and, like, hide behind a building. Whereas the APC, yeah, you could do the same thing, but you could also do another thing where you just kind of, like, drive near the point, you know, get some guys out of your vehicle and then drive away because, you know, your vehicle has armor all the way around. You're not necessarily going to get shot out, if you know what I'm saying. Like, with the truck, there's absolutely, like, no cover for the driver. He could get shot out from, like, any angle. Yeah, so, I mean, definitely looking forward to these new trucks. It's, I like how each faction is, each faction's getting, you know, something, The just, uh, every faction's getting the same balance. I mean, I know... Any every time they add in new vehicles, just one faction is better than the other, and by the looks of it, yeah. all three of these are going to be basically. They should be exactly the same, so nothing's going to change as far as like. Yeah, but I was just thinking, like for a moment, like what, like what would be kind of like the point of using a vehicle like the Weasel now? Because like now you got the same kind of vehicle. I mean, yeah, it's in the different kind of category, but. It, it has this, this sa almost the same purpose. It's got two crates, and it moves probably about the same speed. Only di real difference is you have people spawning on it now. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, there's really not much else as far as this is... I guess this would probably just be the, say the part one of what they can show for this patch. And hopefully there's more... In this patch, like amphibious vehicles, something else. Make it amphibious vehicles. I mean, like make make it so that the weasel can can float. So then it won't <laughs> be completely outclassed by this piece of shit truck. So I mean, we'll have to see what else they they bring into the game. But so far, just just from what they've shown us, I uh, I'm you know I like I like new stuff being added to the game and just I guess new stuff that's not going to completely ruin the game for say somebody like oh we brought in the panther well now that pretty much r rule you know rule oh, yeah, the you medium bring, tank you, you bring in me 262 oh nobody no other faction has a, a jet powered yeah. airplane oh the other factions yeah, so, are going to get wrecked so I, so so far so far thumbs up Good job. I I know they, they get many suggestions, and we do these, uh, vi say, video suggestions, which we've got another one coming up pretty soon, so, you know. So, uh, until we get some more news on, say, the next dev stream or whatnot, definitely ho looking forward to the new changes and all that good stuff. So... We'll just wrap it up here and hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend. And hope you're excited for these new vehicles and much more to come. So we'll 
see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.